SG. What is going on, you guys? Here back with another video. This time it ain't a music video. It's a uh, a reaction to a 24-hour overnight attack. Uh, I wonder if these are real or fake. I mean, you never know, cause they do look kind of like they would be haunted. But you never know. Probably could be staged or not. So, you know. Right. Uh, let me know down on the comment section and you know see what's up. And uh, let's get right into this. Uh, the guy's name is Mo, and I'm checking out his uh, video. First time watching it. I've watched his videos. No, like I mean, I've been watching these videos. He's been uploading, but I haven't watched this one, and they're pretty good. Make sure to subscribe to him. No further ado, let's get into this. I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another epic adventure. Now, I know you guys have been wanting some haunted shit, some spooky shit, some abandoned shit. Okay, I got you guys just what you need, alright? I got the recipe for this video. Today, I'm going to be doing the overnight challenge at a haunted and abandoned farm. Um, this is going to be a crazy one because here's the thing. I'm doing this one with Ali. The thing is, we're each going to take turns going into the farm all by ourselves. I hope you guys are ready for a wild and freaky adventure. Smash that like button. Let's get to the video. Smash it, make sure to like and subscribe. Same here, same to him. And let's get into it. This is some good video, man. Don't be trying to scare somebody. Alright you guys, we gotta trek all the way down there. That's the abandoned farm that we're going to. And we have to actually walk on this path. And as you guys can see, the snow here is super deep, which is why I'm wearing these ugly ass boots. Look at that, I'm up to my knees in snow. That is crazy. Yo, that's freaking deep, bro. I wonder if there's like some sort of river down here or something. We might fall in the water. We gotta be careful. We're not trying to swim with fishes today. We're already trying to swim with ghosts right now. I mean, we're still walking. We're, we're having a hard time walking to that farm, you guys. It's honestly, like, look how deep the, his footsteps are. Yeah. Welcome to Canada. Okay, so I'm pretty sure what we're looking at right now is like some sort of little ravine or something. So hey, be careful we don't fall in. It might have water in it. Is that water down there? Ali's about to walk into the water. Is that water? Is it deep? It's not deep, huh? That's good. Okay. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa, I almost fell. But it's not deep, right? Oh, no. The snow is deeper than the water. See that? That's a whole, like, I guess, little ravine that goes around to the farm. That's the farm right there. We're almost there. Is this water? Yeah. Dude, that's some deep snow. It is kind of deep. Uh, I don't really want to walk through the water because it might actually fall through. It might be deeper in other areas. We just got to trek up this hill, bro. Holy shit, that's some deep snow. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Um, we're going through hell right now just to get to this place. And from what I hear, this place is freaky as it is. Um, there's no actual driveway to get to because it's been abandoned for so long and So we have to actually walk through some really deep snow Finally made it up. All right guys. We finally made it to the farm There it is right behind me. This is actually one of the barns that it has here Check out how creepy that looks. I'm gonna go in by myself without Ali. He's gonna wait out here I'm gonna go inside explore the place. This isn't just it. This isn't the only building. There's quite a bit of buildings on the property um, I'm gonna go in. I think there's an upstairs as well, which freaks me out because you guys know in the attic There's always something lurking in the attic, right? This place better be worth it because we literally drove hours to get here But yo check this out. This is just the main entrance. Um, uh oh, hey, we already have a problem The floor here doesn't look safe Doesn't look safe at all. So this is something I didn't know This place actually has a basement. It looks like the floor has actually caved in Take a look at that. This is the interior. I'm gonna go in is and find a way, a safe way to get in. We don't want to hurt ourselves here. Um, yeah. Here, let me try to jump in. Test this out. I'll be the guinea pig this time. Okay. 
as you guys can see the walls are pretty beat up here definitely taking a beating over the years okay always make sure the floor is solid before you enter one of these locations so like usual guys I want you to let me know if you spot anything freaky something off camera in this video um I'm already getting a weird vibe now I've been to a lot of these um, abandoned like haunted houses or whatever I know what to expect when I get this feeling. When I walked into this place, I immediately started feeling all shivery. Um, and it's not because of the cold, it's not even that cold outside today. And I I'm feeling nauseous already. I'm feeling sick to my stomach. I just, I'm just getting a very, very terrible vibe from this place. Um, I, I mean, obviously look at this place. It's not really the ideal place to be. I mean, it looks scary. Okay guys, so I switched over to my better okay. camera. It's better at nighttime. Definitely, Ali's about ready to come and explore in this side. I'm gonna go upstairs all by myself. Oh, this is not it's good. This is already looking scary. Woo! Look at these stairs. Oh my God, this does not look good at all. This does not look good at all. I'm feeling very dizzy. I'm feeling very nauseous already. This place is freaky. This is basically the upstairs, the attic area. Oh, I hope this is not weak wood. Always check. Whoa, what the fuck was that? That's the other barn? And I literally just saw something standing there in the window. Right where that spray paint sign is. I don't know if you guys can see that. Wait, it's kind of blurry. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I literally just saw something right there in the window. I saw something white just move by that window. I don't know if it's maybe snow or something. It's snowing a little bit, but I saw it right there by that sign. That's the other farmhouse. We haven't explored that yet, but yo, this is already starting to get creepy. But let me show you guys what's up in here. What is that? And say something. I don't know what that is. Well, like that's it. creepy. It look like people be up there. I wonder what's under this tarp. Nothing. So as you guys can see, there's really not much up here. There's actually another upstairs area there. Let me know if you guys spot anything up top. So I finished exploring farmhouse number one. As you guys can see, there's really not much to it. All there is is just, it's emptiness. It's just a weird looking tarp right there. Um, now I'm about to head over to that one. That one, honestly, I'm not excited about. But that's probably gonna be the one that we're gonna sleep in. Um, hopefully it's a bit warmer than this place, but I'm gonna go and explore that one by myself. Or maybe, maybe whoa, whoa, did you, did you guys see that? Guys, I literally just saw something right there. I literally just saw something move past the window. Okay, you guys, I'm heading back downstairs. I'm that. legit feeling, not feeling good at all. The second I came in here, I started feeling very, very sick, very nauseous, honestly. Bro, I don't feel good at all. Like, I literally feel like I'm having like a heart attack. Like, my chest yeah, is actually in a lot of pain right Your now. Your face is really, really pale right now. <sighs> I, don't, I don't think, I don't know, like, I didn't eat anything wrong today. I don't. Th I think it's the second I came into this place. We are going together this time. We're not gonna go alone because honestly, I don't know what's going on. I'm not feeling good as I told you. Um, this is the other one. Dude, this is scary. I couldn't figure out how to get into the basement of that building, but we'll try it later. What? A stable? Really? <sighs> Yo, this is looking much creepier than the other place. Much, much creepier. Definitely much creepier. And that's saying a lot because the other place is really, really creepy. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Holy shit. What is this place? Oh, dude, careful. I literally just hit my shoulder on this. Okay. Yeah. Man, we gotta be really careful in this place. Check this out, you guys. Yo, all of a sudden, I'm feeling actually better. Are you feeling better? The second I walk in here, I'm feeling actually better. It's every time I went into that place, I'm literally feeling much better. The second I walked out of that place over there, I'm inside the other farm right now. The second I walked out, I'm feeling much, much better. You can see my energy's actually grown a bit. I've never been inside of one of these before. This is kind of interesting. Yeah. What? There's a really spooky painting right here. A what? 
coming. Yeah. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Right? Dude. It looks like a clown demon or something. Dude, that's actually creepy. That is so creepy. Oh, I found the upstairs. You found it? Yeah. Where is it? Right here. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, so I'm on the other side of the farmhouse right now. Um, there, this is weird. This kind of like reminds me of like somebody trying to hang somebody on this thing here. Really, really weird. No clue why it even says people over here. But, yo, that's... <laughs> people... Honestly, people spray paint the weirdest things. Um, this is pretty much it for this farmhouse. There is more to look at. Um, as we explore, we'll show you more. Dude! What the fuck? Footsteps. That's probably the thing that you saw. Do you hear that? Yeah. Oh, that was weird. I'm not sure if you guys got that on camera. Just footsteps upstairs. Dude. Was that you whispering? No, man. No, that was like... What the fuck? Um... Yeah, shit just went from zero to 100 really, really, really quickly right now. Dude, we should go check it out. Yeah, I'm yeah let's, let's go check it out. I mean, we're planning on staying here, so we gotta make sure there's no animals in there. There could be coyotes. Oh, great. So we gotta be That's careful. Here. Yeah, there really could be coyotes in there. Um, hey, this looks like a cool place to sleep on, actually, in yeah. a pile of hay. No, I think it's clean. No, I didn't poop anywhere yet. Oh, you didn't? Okay, good. <laughs> Um, where's the ladder? Oh, you said, you said the there's a ladder. Right oh, so that's the ladder? Oh, I doubt an animal's gonna get up there, bro. What the heck? Yeah. No way in hell there's gonna be an animal up there. I don't know, really man. Shh, shh, shh. Bro, I just heard something up there. What the fuck? So, like, Alright, guys, so I'm gonna climb the ladder first with one hand while holding a camera. I'm gonna stick you guys up with the camera and the flashlight first. Make sure there's nothing creepy up there, nothing gonna kill us. Alright, so far it looks so a little clear. Creepy, oh shit! Oh, fuck. Oh, you okay? Oh! I literally almost fell. I held on to that. This is why you don't climb ladders in creepy places with one hand. Okay. Look at that. So this is the first area. Hold up, let me get up, get in there much better. It is very hard to climb with one hand. Yo, be careful, it feels very weak up here. Oh. Come on up, bro, come on up to your demise. Oh, great, my demise, that's what I wanna hear. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually uh, pretty cool up here. Yeah, it's cool, but where, where were those footsteps coming from? Yeah, good. Right? You think it was just the wind, maybe? I mean, it sounded like footsteps to me. We're both really spooked, but check it out here, there's a second ladder right there. Oh, as it, as you can see already, there's a hole here. There's another hole right there. Whoa, the whole roof looks like it's collapsing over here, dude. But what, where did the noise come from? That's what I want to know. Oh, what really spooks me is the whole place is covered in hay. How did we hear a noise? Yeah, if it's it, yeah, seriously, that's actually here. Shine the light at me. That he's actually got a really good point. Ali's actually got a really good point. If the floorboards are completely covered in hay, how did we hear that noise? I mean, we were like down there. You know, ever since I started feeling nauseous in the other place over there, I'm, I feel like I'm off my game. Jeez. What the fuck was that? That kind of got me What too. was that? Dude, seriously, what was that? Okay, so we just heard another noise. This place is spooky. I don't think it's haunted, it's just spooky. Well, it's gotta be haunted. No, why, why else would I be feeling sick in the other place? And the second I walk into here, I'm feeling good. I don't know. Man. Um, what do you want it? What do you I want to do? I'm, I'm not getting a good vibe from this place. Fuck! What the fuck was that? Dude! What? Did you fucking hear that scream? I didn't hear what that. the fuck was I that? Oh my god! Holy shit. 
Holy shit, what was that scream, dude? Do you heard that scream? I heard it. Holy fuck, what was that scream? Like oh my god. Dude, look at this. It's completely broken. Was it broken before? What the fuck? That was broken too. Guys, this place is kind of falling apart as we're here. Dude, what was that scream? There was no way that was the wood breaking. That wasn't wood I don't think the wood, I think that wood was already broken, nope. but no, that looks fresh. Look at that. That looks fresh. That wood looks fresh. It legit looks fresh. What the oh. fuck is going on? That scream scared the crap out of me and it sounded like it was coming from the, the other place. It literally sounded like it was coming from here. The window that I'm standing in now is originally when I was feeling sick in the other place, which is that place. This is the window that I looked in and I said, guys, I saw something walk through the window. And when the second we got up here, we heard like this weird ass high pitched scream. Dude, I just heard something again. Holy shit. You don't hear it? I, I heard the first one, I didn't hear the second one. I just heard like two more. Yeah, is it, it was, still moving? No, but it was moving. Like it was it was going up and down like somebody had pulled it. Dude, it's going up and down right now. I can see it. Guys, take a look at that. That plank of wood right there. It's actually still moving. It, what the fuck? Guys, it, yo, let's go it. down. Let's go down. I definitely think that we should get the hell out of here and go back to the other place. Um, the oh, other place had so a cleaner more, upstairs more, area, see. although it's I was feeling kind of sick and nauseous over there. It still had a better upstairs area and it was cleaner than here and it was more shielded from the wind. It's very windy here. Oh God, this is creepy. <sighs> Holy shit. Dude, could this have been the screeching noise that we heard? Look at the beam, it's like moved. What? Guys, this entire beam has been moved. That legit, yo, if that beam comes off, this whole fucking thing falls up, falls over. It's not really held on by too many beams. This is the middle beam. That wasn't like that when we came up here. No, that was on there. What? Guys, look. Look, look, you can see, look at the look at the marking. You can see the marking, that was legit on there. Oh, I don't even want to touch that. Yeah, fuck I, that. I, I don't yo, even we want have to get out of this place. Dude, this, this is not a safe place at all. Okay. What the fuck moved yeah, it though? It's not gonna Guys, be. that beam had been moved. This beam is here, no problem. I just, it's kind of getting freaky in here. Hey, careful, you gotta jump this. Oh, great. Yeah, jump. Um, oh, shoot. Okay. Dude. Woo. I don't know why, but I'm like at a loss of breath. That's not like me. I mean, I'm pretty active. It's very weird. Ever since I came here, I'm starting to have like these weird health problems. Check this out, guys. There's legit ice here. There's actual ice in here, so that's how cold it is. What the fuck? Dude, the fucking door. What the fuck? The door just slammed. Are you fucking kidding? What? Are you kidding me? No, there's no way. The wind, right? What there's the no way. Holy shit! No. What the fuck? fuck? Dude, the door slammed. The door slammed. What the fuck? fuck? You guys heard that. Yo, get me the fuck out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here, bro. Oh, fuck, dude. Did you hit your head? Yeah, I just fucking hit my head. Guys, oh, close on shot. Hit my head on a piece of wood. We're getting the fuck out of that building. What? You, we gotta stay over there. Dude, that one's creepy, and that was even creepy. That door shut, though. What the fuck? I don't get it. As we were trying to walk out of here, no, I'm not standing near that. that door with the rear clown face is shut, completely shut, slammed shut. That was some creepy shit. I bet. Holy crap. Holy crap. What the fuck is going on today? Excuse my language, guys. I know I've been swearing a lot in this video. I'm really sorry. But like I said, some weird shit is happening. Oh God! Dude, I'm not going back in there to even find out what the hell that was. And to make things worse, we're gonna be staying. I, I don't even know if I want to stay here all night, man. Yeah. To be honest, like this is freaky. This is freaky. Sergeants, I need you guys on this one. I need you. I need your energy. I need the sergeants. You know what? I got the sergeants backing me up, bro. We, we got this, yo. I'm not gonna let something intimidate me. First of all, I don't believe in ghosts. I don't know what, okay, you know what? I say that, I legit say that in almost every haunted video I, I go into, and I always find something, like I encounter something <laughs> freaky. So I'm not gonna say I don't believe in ghosts. There probably is something. There are spirits, there are such thing, a thing as spirits. But like, how the fuck does a door just close itself? I don't get it. Okay, we are going the back wind, upstairs. Man. Huh? I still don't know. I'm not excited for this. this. What, go back upstairs? Yeah, I know, me too, and I'm already feeling nauseous again. The second I came in here, I got a freaking headache. And I'm feeling nauseous like crazy. What? What? 
guys, there's fucking handprints on the wall. Fuck. No fucking way. Was that there last time? I don't think so. I didn't see that. Guys, let me know in the comments below. Did you did you guys see this on the wall when we came up here the first time? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah. That's kind of creepy. Guys, yeah, let us know if you saw those handprints before. Look, there's another one right there. Oh, what the fuck? What? No way. More handprints. That's fucking weird. Dude, that I'm wasn't pretty sure that must have been there before. That's a big handprint. Like, that's a huge handprint. Hold yeah. up. Let me show you guys my handprint compared to that handprint. Okay? That doesn't even compare. There's another handprint right here. Another fucking handprint? Yeah, it's like a missing, like, a middle finger. Okay, so guys, apparently... What? Um, oh, fuck. Um... So guys, since we've been up here, I've been feeling hella nauseous. I've been feeling really bad again. The second we came back into this place, um, there's some weird handprints on the wall and we heard some creaking noises downstairs. We're both kind of sketched out. Like we don't want to go down there and check it. Um, it's kind of scary. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, shit. You okay? Damn, we fucking jump off. Go, 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 fuck, fuck, go, go, holy shit, what was that, oh my god, oh, what the fuck, oh, 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 dude, what the fuck was that, what the fuck was that, that was fucking loud, holy shit, that was so fucking loud, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, oh, my fuck, I think my leg is broken, bro. What was that? Oh, my ankle hurts so much. My camera. We just jumped out of the window. We just jumped out of the fucking Holy barn. shit. Bro, I think the fucking, something fell. Something what big, big, that? something really big really fell. Did you feel the shake? It was shaking, the fucking floor was shaking. Holy shit, ah. My ankle though. You okay? uh, dude, I don't know, it's, it, my ankle's hurting bad. Guys, I think Mo's hurt. <sighs> I jumped out of the window. You jumped behind me. Oh. You screwed. I don't think you could jump behind me. Well, fuck, bro. What was I supposed to do? Let the place fall on me? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. What the heck was that noise? My ankle hurts like a bitch. Are you okay? My fuck. ankle might be a bit sprained. Fuck. Are, you gonna, are we going to walk back to the car? We have a long walk back to the car. Um, We had to run out of there. There was some creepy... Like, that was a loud fucking noise. That was legit a loud noise. My ankle is a fuck. How high was that window? It was like 20 feet. Why did we even jump out of there? Bro, the place was shaking. It was gonna fall. Dude, something big fell. Let's, I wanna go back and see what the fuck that was. Wanna help me up? Yeah. Okay, that. Oh, just took my leg. Okay, wait, here, I'll get myself up. Let me see if I get myself up. Oh, my knee hurts so much. I am actually limping right now. I'm probably gonna go to the hospital after this. I think my ankle's messed up. But we wanted to come back in here and see what the heck that noise was. What? Yo, I think that beam fell, bro. Oh my God. I, yo, that's what happened. This fucking thing collapsed from somewhere. What? what the fuck? That, that's what happened, something collapsed. Holy shit, it's a good thing we weren't under this when it collapsed, man. Yeah. But if oh you my say god, look, shaking, it, look at that. Look at that. It looks like it hit the wall there. Hit the wall. Yeah. Kind of the crap out of it. Holy shit, look at the wall. I don't, I, honestly, I don't know if that's how it was before, but it looks like this is this beam recently fell. Like oh, that one. Holy shit. The ground was shaking when we were up top. That's why we ran, like, we ran in panic. <laughs> we ran in panic and just jumped out of the damn window, which is freaking stupid because my ankle is destroyed. Really wish I hadn't jumped out of that window. But if you guys were here and you saw and felt what we felt and the noises that we heard, we heard from the, from the, I, I guess the beam breaking or something, you would have probably done the same thing. You would have jumped out that window. It literally felt like the building, ow, it literally felt like the building was about to collapse. You know what? I do it for you guys and I don't regret it, not even one bit. Yes, I just jumped out of a window. Please don't try that at home. You could really injure yourself. But you know what, it was kind of fun for me. <laughs> I've never jumped out of a window before. I could scratch that off my bucket list. We are jumping way, way into the night. It's like almost 1.30 in the morning. Um, it took us hours to get here. This is the hospital. We're gonna go inside right now. Um, I'm excited for one thing. My, le my ankle hurts like a bitch, like it hurts. But I'm excited for a freaking wheelchair. You gotta think positive even when there's something bad that just happened to you. Um, 
Thank you for sticking with me. I got you, man. Guys, please go subscribe to his channel. He's stuck with me from the <laughs> beginning till the end. I don't know why, but this is legit the most awkwardest thing ever. <laughs> um, I feel bad for whoever actually is in a wheelchair in real life. Um, I know my ankles just messed up right now, but um, shout out to all you guys that are actually in wheelchairs. Respect to you guys. This just went from being a ghostly adventure to a hospital adventure. <laughs> Welcome to the life of Mo Sarji, by the way. Emergency is that way. That way? Yes, it's that way. This way. All right, you guys. Um, I've been here in emergency. I've been in here for quite a bit. It's like I've been in here for about an hour and a half. Um, Canadian healthcare is free. Sorry, I got to talk so low, but there's other people here. So listen, Canadian healthcare is free, which is good. But the waiting times are unbelievable. So we're probably going to be here till like 5 a.m., 6, 7 a.m., something, something, something like that. Um, at least, like my ankle hurts a lot, but I don't think it's broken. Like, look, I can move it side to side, which is good, and nothing is really cracking. Um, it, it is, oh shit, it is sort of red here, but that could be because it's, um, because it's sprained. That could be because of the sprain, something like that. Big thank you to Ali. Why did I even jump out of a window? It's been another few hours, most fallen asleep. He's kinda, he looks really tired. He's been in a lot of pain. Um, his legs, not treating him very well. I don't know if you guys can tell from the video, but he does look pretty pale. So he's, uh, he's had it rough all day. All right guys, it's much, um, much, much later than what it was before. Um, yeah, thanks, thanks. Dude, um, it's much much later than it was before. I just got done from the doctor. The doctor said it's not broken, which is good. But I got to ice it for tonight and for the whole weekend, apparently. All right, so we're out of the hospital. It's time for me to end this video. It's five o'clock in the morning. I am drained. I am tired. I look like shit. I look like poop. I fell out of a window today. I literally, I, I didn't even land on my feet. I think I like, I sort of landed and I rolled. I think if I had landed straight dead onto my foot, I probably would have broken my foot. Thank God I did not do that. Um, we're leaving the hospital right now. Go subscribe to Ali, man. Show him some love. He's helped me out so much these past couple of days. He helped me out so much today. Go tell him the sergeants are here. You guys go there in full force. Let him know you're here. Subscribe to him. Let's get him to 10,000 subscribers. What are you at, Nug? I'm like, I just hit 3K today. He just hit 3,000 subscribers. He's growing quickly. He's pumping out some good videos. Let's get him to 10,000 subscribers, guys. Let's get this video to like 5,000 likes. Actually, you guys are killing that. You guys are getting the videos to like 10,000 likes. So let's smash the like button for this video. I put myself through some crazy shit today. Um, I hope something like that doesn't happen again. I would never wish that on anybody or myself or Ali. Uh, we're just trying to give you guys entertainment and sometimes it does actually go wrong, you know? So. Really guys, I want you to show some support in the comments. One thing I love about you guys is you guys have been destroying the comments. You've been so positive to each other, not just to me, to each other. I, I don't see anybody arguing or fighting in the comments, which is awesome. You guys are setting up shops, which I don't get that, but yo, that's what you guys wanna do, do what you wanna do. Um, after you guys are done from this video, head over to my Instagram, go follow me. I'm gonna be doing some follow backs. Just because you guys are awesome, I'm gonna be doing follow backs. I do it after every video. So when you guys show up to my Instagram, I follow some of you guys back. I don't follow everybody, but I'll try to follow some of y'all back. So all you gotta do is go to my Instagram, like the shit out of my picture, spam me, tell me to follow you back, tell me what you guys like about the videos, and I'll definitely follow you back. On that note, thank you very much for coming along on today's psychotic adventure. I don't think you guys have ever seen anything like this on YouTube, so smash that like button once again. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe I'll see you guys in the next one don't forget be you do you and just live a little just not like this peace <laughs>